Okay, I want to just go through a cutting down a resume. So this is a seven-page resume um, of a Java architect. He's actually a, a pretty good guy, and it's not a bad resume. I mean, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of stuff in here. <clears throat> At the end of the day, he has too much stuff in here, but he's got a lot of good stuff. So this is probably one of the harder cases because <clears throat> his experience, the stuff that he has in his resume, most of it's pretty relevant. Um, and so that makes it a little bit harder to take out. But a couple things here um, right off the bat. This is a seven-page resume. We have to get it cut down. It's just too long. Um, some A few areas I really like to cut quickly are all of this. And, and probably we're going to cut the certificates. So in, on my first cut of this, and I, I can explain to you why, but you know I don't like these these buzzword blocks, even though his is actually pretty relevant. A lot of them aren't very relevant. A lot of them have 30-year-old technologies. But I am going to cut this out. I'm also going to cut this. So cut all that. Because at the end of the day, by the way, what we're looking at here is this guy's at eBay. Okay, that, that right alone just sells him. And he's got some good detail in his bullet points. So outside of all that other bullshit, he looks great. But what I want the manager to see is, you know, basically, boom, senior software engineer at shopping.com, which is eBay. And that's going to sell him 90% of the way right there. The other stuff that he has, <clears throat> Reardon's a good company too. Okay, now he has... As an example, this stuff is actually text that he's put in his resume. It takes up space, doesn't add any value. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut out some white space where I see it um, and see where we can get. Now, he's got a lot of, he's got some very big bullet points here, and he's got these things that talk about the environment. Um, makes it a little more difficult, the format, but as you can see, he's wasting a ton of space. I'm going to take out the white space. I'm taking this out. Why? Not because I know what it means, but because it's taken up too much space. And believe me, at the end of the day, it's redundant. Um, so again, taking up too much space. This is the only tough one because he integrates it here. So I want to, I want to cut this out uh, because it's taking up too much space. And you see I, I have a formatting problem here now, so I'm going to take out the bullet. Okay. Now we're down to five pages. Again, he's got a bunch of wasted space here in these There it is, <clears throat> where he says his name over and over again, not necessary. I'm taking it out because it's a bullet. It's not because I'm reading through the content, but this is an easy, you know, you're going to see a pattern here after I do a few of these. This is not bad stuff, but it's, it's long and it's taking up too much space. <clears throat> we have his little wasted space again. These are just basic things. Um, so if I really need to get extreme, there's a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to say, I know, I know what this is, CSC, great company, but you know what? It's too old. 98. In general, I like to cut anything that is older than 2000. This one, he's there for five years, but I'm going to cut it because it's taking up too much space. And all the way down to here. Um, I'm going to cut it. Okay, now we've got it down to three pages. If I really want to get start to get nasty on it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom bullet points. Why? Because he listed them at the bottom. It wasn't the top thing on his mind. I'm going to cut them down because they're taking up too much space. The other thing he's got is a list of publications. Now, I'm at three pages now. I can easily get this down to two pages. 
Um, you know, you, you can look at publications are cool. In, in this case, they're totally not relevant. They're, they are publications about theoretical physics. That's really cool. Shows that he's really smart. But honestly, it's not going to get him hired. He's got a great degree. He's got a master's. He's obviously a very, 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 very bright guy. But, you know, the publications aren't, aren't going to help him in his Java 2, J2EE um, career here. <clears throat> Last job on the list. Boom. Two-page resume. Yeah, we lost some, some detail. Um, but at the end of the day, this guy is still a great guy. And what's going to sell him is this right here. What he's doing at eBay. 200 million deals, blah, 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 blah. High scalability situation. That's what's going to attract this guy. I don't, you know, we could cut more down. But at the end of the day, he's now at a two-page resume. And I spent maybe five minutes on it or, or something like that. So that's an example. Five pages to two. I didn't look at it. I didn't read it very much. I just cut out stuff that was taking up a lot of space because he's got too much in it. And again, the longer, the further down it is, the older it is, the less relevant it is. So I'm, I'm cutting down stuff that isn't particularly relevant. I cut down a lot of duplicated stuff. I cut down his buzzword block. I cut down his summary because, again, that's what's going to sell him right here. So two pages from seven, five minutes.